guys, my name is Amanda. This is Elliot. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. If you have not subscribed to my channel and you like what you see, please consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload. Also, please remember to give me a big thumbs up if you like the content of this video as that really helps me out here on YouTube. Enjoy the video! So here is an idea. If you have some of those triangular shaped signs from Dollar Tree, you can make a gorgeous pumpkin pie. I had actually used this in a previous project to make a Christmas tree. So I just cleaned it up and sanded off the back as good as I could. And then I took some of this plush yarn from Dollar Tree. It is a perfect pumpkin pie color. I folded it over so it was a little bit thicker to work with. And then I just began and zigzagging strips of this yarn back and forth on my triangular shape. Each time I come to the end, I glue it down with a little bit of hot glue. I do recommend using finger protectors if you have them on hand. I was using a low temp heat and I could not find my finger protectors, but you just zigzag back and forth with your doubled over yarn until your entire triangular piece is covered. When you reach the end of your piece, you can just go ahead and glue down a new folded over piece. And then I just zigzag all the way to the bottom. Easy peasy. Then I cover the two long sides the same way, just gluing down, stretching across to the other end, and then back and forth a zigzag. I do go back to that edge up top where the sides meet and cover that up with another little strip of yarn to make sure that that is nice and cleaned up looking. I want it to have a nice little edge there. So of course I do this on both sides and then I'm going to go ahead and take a another type of Dollar Tree yarn. It's like a really light brown color. It is perfect for crust and whipped cream in my opinion. So I'm just doing the top of the little triangle there there and going back and forth again with our zigzags gluing at either end and here is my piece of pumpkin pie i absolutely love it it has it, that hollowed out inside you could even hide your keys or something under there or leave a little love note for your spouse so many different ideas but now to make the little whipped cream swirls at the top i'm going to just tie a knot a double knot with this yarn glue it down and then just swirl my yarn around gluing as I go until I get the desired size of swirl and then just cut off the excess. I do this four times. Now when I get to my last swirl, I realize that my first swirl looks kind of sad in comparison. So I just go back and add a little bit more of this yarn. But since this triangular shape is $1.25 and these yarns are $1.25 and we barely used like an eighth <laughs> of the yarn. So for around $2, I would say you have this adorable, quite large pumpkin pie piece. But we're not finished yet. We have one more embellishment. I'm going to take this little styrofoam ball from Dollar Tree. Come six to a pack. I'm just going to cut off a little bit off the bottom to make it sit flatter. And I'm going to hot glue it down onto my piece of pumpkin pie. I am then going to take this light colored yarn and wrap it all the way around the styrofoam ball. Gluing here and there as I go until I reach the top. And then I'm going to continue to swirl it around until I get a little peak of this whipped cream. I'll make sure my little peak is glued down and then I will trim off the excess. Absolutely adorable for just a couple of dollars. I so so love this. I was watching a bargain Bethany yesterday. She is the queen of faux treats and she totally inspired me to try my hand at some. So let's move on to the next idea. It's very similar to this one, except it is my favorite kind of pie. Well, tied with pecan pie, cherry pie is one of my favorite kinds. So we are going to take another one of those triangle shaped pieces from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cover it in this deep red color yarn and I'm also going to create a crust like I did on the previous piece but for this one I'm going to create a lattice work top 
So I do have my yarn doubled over to make it a little bit thicker and I'm just going to try and evenly space four lines going down the pie sideways gluing at either end once I place this yarn down and again it is doubled over I don't measure I just try to evenly space these lines I don't think when you make a real pie you actually measure the lattice work at least I don't so I think it's okay to just kind of eyeball it but again I just do four lines and then I'm going to flip the pie around, spin it around, and do the exact same thing in the opposite direction for more lines of this yarn. And then you will have an absolutely adorable piece of cherry pie. I do go ahead and take a little bit extra of this yarn and just go across across sorry i'm so tongue-tied today the top of my pie where that crust is just to clean up any um, odds and ends from that lattice work meeting the crust once that is done here is yet another adorable super inexpensive piece of pie i think it is really cute now let's get into making some full pies I, this video may be hungry, you guys, but I was so thrilled with how they came out. Now, I was inspired by Bargain Bethany to use these little disposable pie tins from Dollar Tree that come three to a pack for this project. Now, she painted her pie, but I want to use my yarn. So, I take the top piece of this disposable pie pan, and I'm doubling over my yarn again, and I'm going to do the same type of thing that I did on my pieces of pie. I'm just going to zigzag this folded yarn, well, double over yarn that is, back and forth all the way across this little paper circle that again is the topper for our disposable little pie pan just going back and forth and using glue at either end again i highly recommend finger protectors but i made it through and here is my pie I go ahead and make sure to bend that little edge at the top of the pan backwards so I can fit my pie on there. And then I go ahead and close the little edge back on there. Bargain Bethany's pie came out adorable too. She did it a little bit differently. I'm not going to tell you exactly what she used because I want you to go ahead and check it out. She is so amazing. I will have her linked. I am, of course, doing mine a little bit differently, but I like to give credit where credit is due. So once this is all done, I'm going to go ahead and glue down right on the edge there another doubled over piece of this light brown yarn again. Using it as the crust, I'm just going to go around the whole pan covering up that little bit of silver where everything is attached once i reach the end and my two ends of crust meet i will then cut it off and here is my adorable pie going to take another one of those little styrofoam balls from dollar tree trim off its behind there glue it down with hot glue to the middle of my pie and again wrap this little ball in this light colored yarn all the way to the top till I form a little peak and then cut off the excess. This little pie is so adorable and again maybe a dollar fifty, a dollar seventy five if you add in the yarns but so cute so adorable i absolutely love it i was so proud of these projects i was actually going to wait a little while to share them but i just couldn't so now let's get into our adorable mini cherry pie this one again super easy super inexpensive and so fun i followed the same steps that i did for our little pumpkin pie except i'm going to be creating a lattice work so i create one strip down the middle with my doubled over yarn and then two on either side of that so this is going to have five doubled over strips of yarn going in one direction and then I'm going to turn my pie and do five going in the other direction. I will trim off any excess and again I will go around the edge of that pan with my doubled over yarn to create a crust and clean up any excess of my lattice work. So here is an idea for a little cherry pie. These are so fuzzy, so adorable, and so lightweight. If you want to make your little pie pan a little 
little bit heavier you could put some marbles or something in the bottom under your pie so next idea we're going to create an apple pie i absolutely love how this apple pie came out it was so fun to come up with i combined inspiration from several different people i got some inspiration from mother time who i saw cut up a sponge into tiny pieces for an apple pie and also i know whiskey and wit had used a um, piece of sponge to create some adorable little pumpkin pies for a garland so what i did is just cut a whole bunch of little pieces off this dollar tree sponge then i cut two larger pieces and put them in the bottom of one of my little dollar tree disposable pie pans that were three to a pack. Now I'm going to take these little pieces of sponge and I'm going to take some caramel brown colored yarn that I got also from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to wrap my little pieces of sponge one way and then the other until they are covered in yarn. Now I know right now it kind of looks like little poop nuggets and you're probably thinking Amanda what is wrong with you but <laughs> I promise it actually comes out really cute and this is not a poop pie it is an apple pie. <laughs> And so now we are going to go ahead and cover the two pieces of sponge that we glued down in our pie pan. We're just going to crisscross doubled over pieces of yarn back and forth, gluing them down so that when we glue our little pieces of apple down, if there's any cracks or gaps, you will just see that brown yarn. Now I'm going to take a whole bunch of pieces of my yarn covered apple pieces and just glue them down all over the top of this pie until the whole top is covered in these little pieces. Now it's starting to look more like food. So here is what this looks like. And then I'm going to do my same crisscross thing that I had been doing. Five one way, five the other way. Create a little crust by going around the edge of that pan. And it looked funky in the beginning, but how adorable did this turn out? Again, so inexpensive, so, so affordable. And I really hope that you enjoyed these projects, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. Don't forget that thumbs up and take care friends. So here is a last minute look at our adorable little slices of pie and our little tiny pies. Cherry pie, pumpkin pie, apple pie. Here's our cherry pie with the lattice work. Here's our little apple pie that turned out adorable, I do believe. Here is a large slice of pumpkin pie our little mini pumpkin pie. So thank you once again. If you are still watching all the way to the end, you are amazing. Please let me know in the comments what is your favorite type of pie. I will see you soon. Take care, friends. Like and subscribe to my mom's channel. And thank you for watching today's craft and stay safe.